Never Stop Learning, week 144. I'm going to take a look at the close off feature available in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, before I get into that feature, I'm going to go over a couple of workflow things with uh, tabs as well. So here I got a couple of documents open because they have some branding that I want to put on either side of this illustration here. So in order to activate one of these tabs, all you have to do is click on it. And you see now this one is highlighted. It's brought up the artwork right here in the center of my document. Uh, this other tab is now dimmed and this one continues to be dimmed because we haven't activated it just yet. Now to access the next one, uh, instead of clicking on it, we could also use a keyboard shortcut of command tilde on a Mac or it's control tab on a PC. If you continue to hit command tilde, you see it'll just continue to cycle in that direction through the different documents. Now if you hold down command shift tilde, it'll cycle through the documents in the opposite direction. So there you go. All right, so what I want to do is actually grab this Rocky logo, click and drag to drop it into this Elvira PSD. Now I can't see it at the moment, so what I want to do is create a floating document. In order to do that, I'm just going to click and drag right here and see I have this floating window. Once I release, everything gets nice and tucked in around my artwork. All right, so the interface might look a little bit different if you're on a PC because, again, I'm on a Mac for this uh, tutorial. All right, so what I want to do is just click and drag this guy over here into this document. But before I release, I want to introduce the shift modifier. What that's going to do is it's going to center my artwork right here in this document. So I'm going to release the mouse first, then the shift key. And you see it has it centered in my document like it was in its previous document. All right, now let's make some changes to this. I'm going to click and drag on this guy, slam it all the way to the left. And because it is a vector smart object, I'm going to hit command T to transform. And I'm going to make this guy bigger without having to worry about any kind of pixelation because, again, it is a vector smart object. All right, as I drag on this corner, you see if I hold down the shift key, it'll actually constrain the proportion for me. And if I introduce the option key at the same time, it's actually going to transform it from the center location. All right, so right around there looks good to me. I'm going to release the mouse key first, then my modifiers. And on my keyboard, I'm going to hit enter or return. That's going to accept that change. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift and the up arrow key a couple times because that's a better location to me. All right, now I want to drop the opacity a bit. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the number one and that's going to bring the opacity value down to 10%. And I'd like to change the blending mode to an overlay blend mode. So I'm going to hit shift option O. There you go. You see it updated over here in my document. Now let's repeat this process using the other uh, branding I have over here. So I'll click and drag. Now we have this floating document here. And you see I have this black background on here, so I'm going to actually hide the background just so you can see why I had it there. It just uh, makes it a little bit easier to see if I have that contrast going on there. But what I want to do is uh, grab the letter I, click and drag, because I want to bring it into this Elvira illustration. But this time I'm actually not going to hold down the shift key. Uh, I'm going to come over here towards the right side of my document because I want to drop off uh, this artwork right about here. So when I release the mouse key, you see it's left it off in that location that I wanted. Now I could just continue to make some modifications using my keyboard. Uh, I'm going to drop the opacity again by hitting the number one on the keyboard. The blending mode is fine, so I'm going to leave that as is. And it's pretty much done. I've made all the changes that I want to make. And uh, you see I have a multi-layer document. But I actually don't have those tabs over here anymore. So if you want to bring them back to the previous state that we had, all you have to do is come over here to the Window menu, find Arrange, and then choose this option here for Consolidate All to Tabs. When you click on it, you see everything's back to normal. All right, so let's keep in mind here we made some changes to this Elvira PSD. So there's a little asterisk here. Over here in this Rocky logo, we didn't make any changes to this document, so there's no asterisk here at the end. But then over here at this SB script, we actually turned off one of these layers here at the bottom. So you see that it has an asterisk over here at the end. So just keep that in mind in case there's any changes you want to save. So I'll come back to this Elvira PSD and the feature that we're going to check out is the close off feature. In order to find that one, you have to come over here to the file menu, scroll down and you'll see close all. Over here towards the right of my cursor, you see we have a keyboard shortcut of option command W. I'll just click on this option now and I get this dialog box that comes up. And that's because we made some changes to this SB script document over here. So let's take a look at what we can do. Uh, I could check this box here for apply to all. Uh, right here I have this guy glowing for save, but I actually don't want to save this document because uh, if you remember it's actually kind of hard to see with that bottom layer turned off. I don't want to hit cancel because that's just going to stop everything. And if I hit don't save right now, 
That's the correct action for this document, but we also have this box checked here for apply to all. So that means it's not going to save this Elvira PSD, and I don't want to do that. I actually want to save those changes we just made. So I'll uncheck this box, and right here we're dealing with the SB script document. I do not want to save that one. So I'll click on this button, and you see right away it closed that tab, and it also closed out that Rocky tab without even asking me, which is great. It just saved me some time. It closed it at a blink of an eye. There weren't any unsaved changes there, so Photoshop just went ahead and closed it for me. But we did have some unsaved changes for this Elvira PSD. So Photoshop wants to know, uh, do you want to save these or not? So I could uh, check apply to all. If I hit don't save, it's not going to save it. If I hit cancel, it's going to stop the operation from here. Uh, and if I hit save, it's going to go ahead and save this guy. Now if I had some other documents over here with unsaved changes, because I have this box checked, it would actually save all those other documents. So I'll just click save right now. And there you have it, folks. That's how you use the close off feature available in Adobe Photoshop.